Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey through the profound teachings of Pythagoras, the legendary figure known for his Pythagorean theorem, but whose wisdom extends far beyond the realms of mathematics. In this exploration, we will unravel six life lessons inspired by Pythagoreanism, lessons that transcend time and continue to inspire and guide us today. Join me on this inspiring quest as we delve into the wisdom of Pythagoras and uncover the timeless truths that can enrich our lives. Lesson 1. Appreciate Music In the rich tapestry of human experience, Pythagoras, renowned for his mathematical brilliance, also bestowed upon the world a profound understanding of the harmonies that resonate within the realm of music. Beyond the Pythagorean theorem, his legacy extends to the interconnected relationship between mathematics and the soul-stirring melodies that have the power to transcend time. Pythagoras' revelation that mathematics and music share an intricate bond paved the way for the Pythagorean tuning system, a musical tuning approach that remains influential to this day. Legend has it that Pythagoras, while strolling down a street, discerned the correlation between the size of a blacksmith's tools and the distinct sounds they produced. From this simple observation, he unlocked the profound truth that what is musical is also inherently mathematical. This connection between mathematics and music is the essence of Pythagorean tuning, a system that bases the ratio of intervals on the simple yet elegant ratio of 3-2 by understanding the mathematical relationships between musical notes, Pythagoras provided a foundation for the art of music that would resonate through the centuries. Furthermore, Pythagoras delved into a theory known as musica universalis, or the music of the spheres. This theory posits that the celestial bodies, including the moon, sun, and planets, move according to mathematical equations creating a cosmic symphony beyond the range of human perception. While this celestial music remains unheard by the human ear, Pythagoras believed in its existence, reinforcing the idea that music is not merely an auditory pleasure, but a fundamental aspect of the cosmos. In essence, Pythagoras emphasized that the highest goal of music transcends mere entertainment. It is a spiritual endeavor to connect one's soul to its divine nature. Music, according to Pythagoras, is not just an art form. It is a source of healing and a powerful expression that resonates with the deepest aspects of human emotions. In the fast-paced world of today, where music often serves as background noise in the hustle and bustle of daily life, Pythagoras' lesson encourages us to pause and truly appreciate the art of music. It's a call to listen with intention, to let the melodies weave through our consciousness and touch the inner recesses of our souls. Pythagoras invites us to see music as more than a soundtrack. It is a potent force that can heal, excite, motivate, and guide us through the various landscapes of our emotional experiences. Moreover, Pythagoras recognized the potential for music to be a form of therapy for the soul. Much like medicine heals the body, music has the capacity to heal emotional wounds, alleviate stress, and elevate the spirit. It is a universal language that transcends barriers and speaks directly to the human soul. In the Pythagorean tradition, followers often structured their daily routines around the transformative power of music. They began their days with invigorating, energizing melodies and concluded with calming, soothing tunes. This intentional use of music as a tool for emotional regulation demonstrates Pythagoras' understanding that musical compositions can be crafted with specific purposes to calm, excite, motivate, or induce specific emotions. In our modern lives, where music is often relegated to the background, a constant companion during commutes or a backdrop to mundane tasks, Pythagoras urges us to rediscover the profound impact that music can have when we give it our full attention. Close your eyes, immerse yourself in the melodies, and let the music guide your emotions. It is a lesson in mindfulness, 
reminding us that the true appreciation of music requires a conscious and deliberate engagement with its beauty. Lesson 2. Don't get stuck in the finite. In the labyrinth of human existence, Pythagoras emerges as a beacon of wisdom, guiding us through the intricate maze of life's uncertainties. Central to his teachings is the profound lesson to transcend the ephemeral nature of the physical realm and embrace the immortal realm of reason. At the heart of Pythagoras' philosophy lies the concept of metempsychosis, commonly known as reincarnation. According to this belief, every soul is immortal, and upon death, it transmigrates into a new body. This profound understanding urges us to see beyond the transient nature of our physical forms and recognize the enduring essence of our souls. Pythagoras encapsulates this philosophy in the words, reason is immortal, all else mortal. For him, reason, the eternal and transcendent aspect of human consciousness, takes precedence over the ephemeral and perishable nature of the physical body. By placing a clear emphasis on the importance of matters concerning the soul, Pythagoras implores us to recognize that the soul holds access to infinite knowledge and thoughts, far surpassing the limitations of the body. The rationale behind Pythagoras' prioritization of the soul lies in its capacity for deeper, more profound thoughts. While the body may be consumed by superficial desires, the quest for wealth, experiences, or sensory pleasures the soul, with its access to eternal wisdom, beckons us to ponder the broader questions of life. Pythagoras challenges us to move beyond the mundane considerations of daily life, such as choosing what to eat for dinner or deciding on the next travel destination. Instead, he encourages us to delve into contemplation about the world, the human condition, purpose, and the very essence of joy. The ephemeral nature of bodily sensations, according to Pythagoras, leads to perpetual dissatisfaction. The pursuit of transient pleasures, whether in the form of material wealth, indulgent experiences, or delectable food, becomes an unending cycle of desire and fleeting gratification. The soul, on the other hand, holds the key to a more profound and lasting form of satisfaction. To foster this deep thinking and connection with the immortal aspect of our being, Pythagoras offers a practical exercise. Each night, before sleep takes us into the realm of dreams, he encourages us to ask three fundamental questions. What have I done today? What haven't I done today, but should have? Have I turned away from doing the right thing today? This nightly introspection serves as a compass, guiding us toward self-improvement and aligning our actions with the eternal principles of reason. The practice of nightly reflection, as prescribed by Pythagoras, offers a transformative journey toward personal growth. By revisiting the events of the day and pondering missed opportunities or moral decisions, we create a space for introspection and learning. This exercise not only aids in understanding our actions, but also propels us toward a more thoughtful, compassionate, and purposeful existence. Furthermore, Pythagoras encourages us to engage in the timeless art of philosophizing about life. He contends that humans are inherently designed to observe the heavens, to contemplate the mysteries of the world. Those who neglect this philosophical inquiry, according to Pythagoras, become slaves to the pursuit of money or ambition. Even ambition, when it fixates on finite objectives, can detract from the time and energy required for deeper philosophical musings. In the Pythagorean tradition, Followers sought to facilitate a lifestyle focused on the soul rather than the body. Living together as a community, they shared possessions and tasks, eliminating competition, material pursuits, and bodily desires. Their collective existence centered on the pursuit of wisdom through contemplation. While not everyone needs to embrace such an extreme lifestyle, there is merit in dedicating time each evening to reflect on the day and occasionally setting aside longer periods for philosophical introspection. Lesson 3. Think before you speak and act. 
In the intricate dance of human interactions, Pythagoras casts a guiding light on the importance of thoughtful and deliberate communication. His timeless wisdom, encapsulated in the axiom and anger, we should refrain both from speech and action, urges us to harness the power of reason before allowing our words and deeds to shape the narrative of our lives. Pythagoras understood the intricate relationship between the rational mind and the tumultuous waves of emotion, particularly anger. The ancient philosopher recognized that the impulsive expression of anger often leads to regrettable consequences, echoing the sentiment that words spoken in haste cannot be withdrawn. Thus, he implores us to exercise restraint in moments of anger, advocating for a pause that allows the rational mind to prevail before words or actions are unleashed. At the core of Pythagoras' teaching is the recognition that the rational mind operates at its zenith when untethered from the impulsive desires of the body. In other words, when we allow reason to guide our actions and expressions, we make choices that align with our truest intentions rather than succumbing to the whims of momentary emotions. The philosopher's counsel to refrain from speech and action in moments of anger is not a call to suppress emotions, but an invitation to navigate them with grace and prudence. Pythagoras believed that, in the heat of anger, the mind is clouded, and actions become reflexive rather than intentional. By choosing silence over hastily spoken words or impulsive actions, one demonstrates mastery over the chaotic tempest of emotions. To grasp the essence of Pythagoras's advice, it's crucial to understand the intricacies of emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize, understand, and manage one's own emotions while effectively navigating interpersonal relationships. Pythagoras encourages us to be mindful observers of our emotional states, particularly in moments of anger, where impulsivity can lead to irreversible consequences. Practicing restraint in the face of anger involves a conscious effort to acknowledge the emotional storm without succumbing to its destructive force. Pythagoras offers a simple yet potent strategy when intense emotions arise. Consciously recognize them with the thought, I am having an intense emotion. This initial acknowledgement lays the foundation for a deliberate and measured response. The next step in Pythagoras' wisdom involves a commitment to refrain from immediate action or speech. By consciously telling oneself, that's why I shouldn't say or do anything right now, an individual gains the strength to let rational thinking take the reins. This is not about suppressing emotions, but about granting oneself the time and space needed for emotions to subside, allowing room for a more thoughtful and reasoned response. With practice, this mindful approach to emotions becomes a powerful tool for self-mastery. When faced with challenging situations, one can choose to take a step back, engage in activities that promote calmness, or simply give oneself time until the intense feelings subside. The ability to separate the emotional trigger from the subsequent response empowers individuals to act from a place of intention rather than reaction Pythagoras's on the potency of silence also extends to the idea that what we choose to say or do should be more valuable than maintaining the peace of silence. The philosopher challenges us to consider whether our words or actions are worth breaking the serene quietude. In choosing to speak or act, we are called to bring forth contributions that enrich our interactions and contribute positively to the world. In the modern era of instant communication and swift reactions, Pythagoras' lesson serves as a timeless reminder of the enduring value of thoughtful communication by thinking before we speak and act. We not only preserve our own well-being, but also contribute to a more harmonious and understanding world. In the words of Pythagoras, either stay quiet or make sure your words are more valuable than silence. Lesson 4 Think for yourself. Pythagoras, a fervent advocate of independent thinking, implores us not to tread the well-worn paths of public opinion. In a society often dominated by conformity, 
Pythagoras inspires us to forge our own unique journeys. True innovation, he believes, arises from creativity and independent thought. The lesson of thinking for yourself begins with a fundamental question, why should we blindly adhere to societal norms when our minds possess the capacity for boundless creativity? Pythagoras encourages us to rely on our own minds, exploring new ways of living and problem-solving. By thinking independently and creatively, we tap into the limitless potential of our minds, finding novel solutions and making meaningful impacts on our lives and the lives of those around us. In a world that often gravitates toward conformity, Pythagoras's teachings empower us to embrace the power of our individual thoughts. By thinking for ourselves, we become architects of our destinies, navigating uncharted territories and contributing to the evolution of ideas. Pythagoras invites us to celebrate the richness that comes from embracing our unique perspectives and to trust the creative force that lies within each of us. Lesson 5. Be gentle to those around you. Pythagoras, the sage who delved into the intricate interconnections of existence, extends his teachings beyond human relationships to encompass the entire tapestry of life. His profound emphasis on gentleness towards every soul, including animals, reflects a holistic understanding of interconnectedness. Central to Pythagoras' philosophy is the assertion that animals, like humans, share the privilege of possessing a soul. This belief prompts a paradigm shift, urging us to reconsider our treatment of not only our fellow human beings, but also the sentient beings with whom we share this planet. Pythagoras posits that our actions towards animals mirror our treatment of other humans, reinforcing the idea that kindness and respect are universal virtues the lesson of being gentle to those around us transcends mere ethical considerations. It becomes a cornerstone for personal well-being. Pythagoras suggests that kindness and respect are not only virtues, but also practical tools for a happy and free life. Gentle individuals, according to Pythagoras, build trust, minimize conflicts, and receive assistance when needed. This philosophy encourages us to extend kindness universally, fostering unity and understanding among diverse individuals. Furthermore, Pythagoras teaches us that being gentle is not merely a social nicety, but a universal charity that, when given, is reciprocated. By practicing gentleness, we create a positive ripple effect, inspiring those around us to mirror our compassionate approach. In essence, Pythagoras's lesson on being gentle to those around us becomes a roadmap for cultivating harmonious relationships and contributing to the collective well-being of all sentient beings. Lesson 6. Have self-respect. Above all things, respect yourself, declares Pythagoras, unraveling a fundamental truth that forms the bedrock of a fulfilling and purposeful life. Pythagoras's call for self-respect transcends mere self-care. It extends to cultivating a deep understanding of one's purpose and exercising self-discipline. The crux of Pythagoras's lesson lies in practicing self-control. By recognizing what we want, discerning the most effective path to achieve it, and steadfastly adhering to that path, we embody the essence of self-respect. Pythagorean followers embraced a disciplined lifestyle, adhering to strict schedules and rituals as a testament to their commitment to self-mastery. Self-respect, according to Pythagoras, is not merely about superficial actions. It involves finding balance in all aspects of life. It necessitates differentiating between being a people-pleaser and being selfish, recognizing the thin line between overwork and laziness. The philosophy encourages us to engage in an ongoing process of self-examination, practicing self-control and reflection to refine our understanding of what it means to respect ourselves.